hazards. Here are some of the basic hazards that you should be aware of and look out for any time you're planning a trip or are on the river. Rocks can flip boats, pin boats, and they aren't fun to swim or dive into either. Sieves are generally two or more rocks which water can flow through, but people can't causing a serious risk of entrapment or drowning if you get caught in one. Hydraulics are water currents that create waves, breaking waves, and holes, which are formed when water flows over a rock, ledge, or other obstruction. Hydraulics are also found at the base of dams and waterfalls and behind or on top of submerged rocks. Hydraulics in rivers, often referred to as simply whitewater, are part of what make rapids fun and exciting but they can also pose a threat of flipping boats and in some cases can be recirculating, which means boats and people can have a difficult time getting out of the hydraulic or you can be submerged for a long period of time. Most all dams should be avoided and are generally marked with warning signs. However, some dams aren't marked, especially the most dangerous ones, low head dams. Even very small ones should be avoided because it can be impossible to escape from the uniform hydraulic formed by them. Strainers or sweepers are one of the most common and dangerous hazards on the river. These are logs, branches, or entire trees that have fallen in or shifted from one place in the river to another. They are often found along the banks but can also span across entire rivers. Strainers can catch and trap boats and people in the water, and the river's current can make it extremely difficult and even impossible to rescue people or boats. Remember that strainers can fall into or shift around the river daily, and you must be aware of and avoid them at all costs. Lastly, high water levels and flash floods can pose extreme threats to all rivers, even stretches that are normally a calm, relaxing flow. High water can drastically change the difficulty of rivers from easy to extremely difficult. High flows can also move trees, creating new strainer or sweeper hazards, and extremely high water can even change entire rapids, river channels, and move rocks around in the riverbed.